Hi again, this is Pastor Jeff from Community Covenant Church with a few minutes of encouragement from God's Word. And today we're in the Old Testament book of Job, chapter 2, verse 11. Um, and you may know about uh, the story of Job, in which uh, Satan was given permission to test Job's faith. If it was if his devotion to God was simply because everything was going right in his life, or if it was deeper than that. So Job starts experiencing these horrific experiences of loss, of life, of his family, of uh, all of his things that he had um, accumulated and his life became really hard as well as real pain, personal pain through all kinds of boils and, and disease. And in chapter 2, verse 11, it says, When three of Job's friends heard of the tragedy he had suffered, they got together and traveled from their homes to comfort and console him. These three friends came to travel from wherever far away they lived to come and comfort and console him. And they end up staying with him for a long time. How are you thinking about others and finding ways to comfort and console others. One of the things um, in this account is that when these friends got there, at first they just sat in silence with Job for a number of days. I think that was probably the most helpful because then when they opened their mouths, they started saying things that weren't true and actually God had to reprimand them actually because of what they were accusing Job of. Finding an answer or a reason for the bad things that happen to our friends is really probably less important. Well, I know it's less important than simply being there to comfort and console, to be a friend in presence. Think about your friends who are going through difficult times now. How can you give them comfort and encouragement? You don't have to have the right words, just... I love you. I care about you. I want to be there for you. Let's pray. God, thank you that we have friends who are able and willing to come and to offer us their comfort. And thank you that we have that opportunity to do that for others as well. But Lord, especially we're grateful that we have the comfort of a God who cares about us, who is always present. And while we don't always understand why we go through these difficult times, we have the confidence that you are with us, that you will never leave us, and that you offer us the hope and the comfort that only you can. Help us to think about how we can do the same thing for others and uh, celebrate when others have done that for us as well. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. So again, in Job 2.11, when three of Job's friends heard of the tragedy he had suffered, they got together and traveled from their homes to comfort and console him. How can we do the same for somebody else? Take care. God bless.